Hey guys, I'm Kayla with Becky's Graphic Design in Nashville, Tennessee, and today I'm going to show you what to do if your footnotes or endnotes are not properly importing into InDesign and a couple of different problems that might be causing the issue for you. So the first thing I am looking at is my manuscript from Word, which I currently have open in TextMaker. This is a book manuscript that one of our authors has sent us. This document has footnotes in it. We can see there's one right here. And there's a couple more here. You can see these two footnotes. And as we go through the book, we'll see more and more of them. If you're not careful though, you might miss them entirely. This is actually what I did when I imported this Word document into InDesign. I didn't notice that there were supposed to be footnotes and the fact that they didn't come in. So I had a lot more work to do down the line when I had to go through and manually re-add all of the footnotes in. I wish I had noticed this beforehand, it would have saved a lot of time. So something seemed wrong. I could not get those footnotes to import into InDesign. So I'll show you the problem that I was having. Let's go to InDesign and start a new document. We're gonna call this footnote probs. Let's just make it a basic eight and a half by 11 with facing pages, primary text frame. I definitely wanna use that. Um, that should be good. All right. Now I'm going to load that manuscript onto my cursor. I'm gonna to go to place and there it is in my downloads. We're gonna open, so currently we're not doing anything with the import options. We're just gonna leave those alone. So don't click this button right here. Don't click that. We're just gonna leave it as is. So I'm opening this. Oh, I gotta close it first out of TextMaker. Now that's closed, it's gonna load that file onto the cursor. All right, now our Word document is loaded on my cursor. I'm simply going to left click to place it into my primary text frame. And you'll now see my InDesign utilizing smart text reflow in order to flow the manuscript on the pages automatically. All right, so as I'm scrolling through, I know there's supposed to be one footnote in chapter one, and I don't see it there. Let's keep looking. No footnotes here. Just for the sake of argument, let's also run a checker for superscript characters. So I'm gonna tell InDesign to look for any character with the position of superscript just to see if they're in there somewhere. Okay, it found, found that. It's not a number. Ah, see, it is finding the location where the superscript numbers used to be for the footnotes. So it is finding that blank space character that used to contain them. But why is it not here? So this didn't work. So let's go ahead and delete everything. I'm highlighting everything with Control A and clicking backspace. Give it a minute to reflow all these pages again. All right. Now let's try it with import options. Now I'm going to place and I'm going to select my file and show the import options. I'm going to make sure that I have those little check boxes with footnotes and in notes both selected. Give this a minute to load in. It's a long manuscript. All right, just in case, I'm going to use the footnotes and in notes both checked. Um, None of this has to do with footnotes or endnotes right here. All right, I'm gonna click OK. Go ahead and load that onto my cursor again. All right, now I'm going to click into my primary text frame. 
Let InDesign reload all that again. All right, now let's double check one more time. I'm gonna use Shift W to see a better preview. Nope, looks like we're still missing. Oh, so this time it looks like we do have the superscript numbers, but where are the, where are the references that go with them? They're not here. Hmm, all right. So one other solution I've heard to this problem is sometimes you will get an error whenever you are pulling your manuscript from a server like Dropbox or um, maybe the Creative Cloud file folders. Sometimes when you're pulling from an online source, it kind of messes up the formatting. Um, I did try this out with this particular file. That did not seem to be the issue. I saved a new version of it onto my desktop, pulled it from there, and was still experiencing the same problem. The other solution I have heard to this problem is to take your Word document, duplicate it, and then change the file format of it. So we already had a docx file. Now let's try just a simple doc. It'll give you this warning about the file becoming unstable. We're going to select all of this, delete it again. All right, now we're going to place in the doc, not the docx. And don't worry about the import options. Now the manuscript's loaded on my cursor again. I'm gonna click into my primary text frame. All right, let's double check now and see what we got. Okay, so we do have the superscript numbers, but still no footnotes. Where are they? All right, so after I tried all of this, I finally decided that perhaps there was an issue with the file name. So I duplicated, I duplicated my original docx file and I simply renamed it because I thought perhaps there was something wrong with the file name and design wasn't interacting properly with it. I wasn't sure. So just for that, I'm gonna rename it test. Same thing, gonna delete everything here. Let's sit, open this in TextMaker. Let's do file, save as, that's interesting, those other formats aren't showing there. Let's do a, just a new docx called test3. I'm gonna save it and now close it. I'm gonna go to file, place, test3.docx with no import options. I'm gonna load that onto the cursor. All right, let's place this in here. Let's see what we got. There we go. Now it's in there. So the final solution that worked, the final combo, was to open it up in your word processing document, save it out as a docx file with a new name, and then import it without using the import options. Just import it straight. So that took a lot of trial and error, but I finally found the one solution that will work to bring them in. And this is not a normal problem. Usually these um, footnotes come in perfectly no matter what. However, I'm not exactly sure how this file came in from the editor. It's possible that she was using a different program than usual, um, something that wasn't necessarily normal. Um, but I guess there is at least one way to get around it. So you may have to play around with it yourself, try different combinations, um, make sure you're not pulling it from a server like Dropbox or a Creative Cloud and um, try different file formats, try docs, try docx, and then try changing the file name. That seems to be a big one. All right, guys, thank you very much. I will see you in the next video. If this video helped you out, 
Go ahead and like and subscribe. Leave us a comment below, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.